So here's the demo for explainx. First we're going to import uh, all the modules. Once we're done that we're going to load the data set, uh, do a little bit of data preparation and train our machine learning model that we want to explain. After we're done with that we'll simply call this one line of code uh, with the explainx method and once uh, it's completed it's going to give us a link that we're going to click that will give us the access to the dashboard. And uh, in this case, we're trying to predict whether or not credit risk exists uh, for a specific customer. So once we click on the link, we have this main dashboard open up. And uh, as you can see, in just four, four basic steps, we were able to go from raw data to explanations uh, in a very fast manner. So once we have this dashboard, uh, we have the global feature importance, which is basically based on Shapley values. Uh, you can view your data, have a look around. Uh, once you're done with that, the first sort of like insights you're going to get is the feature attribution, which are the most important features that the model thought had a big impact on the prediction. And we have given insights on how to read the graphs so that anyone, no matter if they're a data scientist or a business user, can easily understand and read the insights. Uh, and on the second part, you have the global feature impact. This basically tells you that you know for specific features, you can have a positive impact, but at the same time, you can have a negative impact. So this is telling you uh, that for out outcome is equal to zero, uh, status of existing checking account has about uh, you know 4.72 percent positive impact on the prediction. So you're able to understand how each variable works. Uh, then you have uh, on on the second graph you have the feature interaction. So you, first you have the partial dependence plot. This basically plot tells you how the marginal effect of one or two variable has on the outcome and you can see how by changing the value for each variable how your prediction for your machine learning model might change so this basically tells you how the machine learning model is basically thinking when it comes to feature two or three features interacting together uh, then you have the summary plot the summary plot is basically looking at how the entire feature interaction is working on a holistic manner. So this gives you an idea that you know where uh, specific features are having a positive impact, where they're having a negative impact, and how they are distributed in their data set. Uh, once we're done with that, we can uh, look into our distributions. And distributions are really crucial. We want to understand whether or not our data is imbalanced or balanced. Then we have recently added the multi-level EDA. Uh, this basically helps the data scientists dive much deeper into how the model is performing on various different levels by adding, um, by drilling down into the data. So in this case, we can choose size to be credit amount. So now we have the size of the bubble represent higher, the bigger the size of the bubble, the bigger the credit amount is. And that's an interesting pattern to see. Most of that lies where the status of the checking account is greater than one. So that's a pretty interesting insight. Then we can add a color. Uh, let's see, let's add age and see how the values of age increases. A pretty interesting sort of distribution that we're getting for age. Now we can now we have actually plotted about four variables in one different plot and we are checking out how they are interlinked or how they're interacting. Now we can actually drill down by column and uh, let's add the y prediction value so that we can see that you know our model classified zero and one. So let's see how oh that's an interesting one. So great so where the y prediction was zero we don't have any sort of status of existing checkings account that are greater than two that are greater than one. We only have like one that is based on two and then nothing at three. But where the Y prediction was one, where the credit risk was not 
was non-existent, you have a lot of values that exist where the status of checking's account was basically greater than two or you can see three. We can even drill down uh, in this scenario by row. Uh, and you know, we can, like, in this case, we can actually choose job or we can even choose some other variable that is much more easier, like for example, housing, that might work. So for different values of housing, for different categories, we can see how the model was predicting. And that is a good thing to have. Then we move on to the local explanation part. So in this case, this is basically for individual customers that are coming in and we want to explain their prediction. And this is a feature attribution graph based on an advanced or optimized version of Shapley values. And this can clearly actually tell you that for this specific feature, status of existing checking account has about a 12.82% positive impact, which means that you know the base probability will increase by 12.8%. Whereas uh, you know the negative variables, the other debtors, has about a negative 3.9% on the probability. So understanding these is extremely important and we have made it extremely, extremely easier. And if you want to have a look at uh, a new customer that is coming in, you can simply go up and just write the name. Let's choose row number 10, for instance. And we automatically get the prediction explanation for row number 10. And we've added uh, something that is uh, an extremely important uh, analysis that is that we've built on top of this which is basically a prototypical analysis and now once we have that we really want to explore more and by calculating these similar profiles we can actually see how many data points exist in our data set that was similar to the customer that we are trying to predict so now we can actually understand how the model was performing or what the model was thinking uh, and get more confirmation on the model prediction so getting this, uh, these prototypes is extremely, extremely important. And we have added a very optimized algorithm known uh, Protodash that we are currently using to generate these prototypes. Then uh, we recently added a new uh, module which is basically analyzed using SQL. Uh, and that is a pretty interesting one. In this case, let's see, uh, let's see uh, how the model was performing when, the, uh, when credit amount was greater than 5,000. So by using these SQL queries, we can easily slice and dice into various subsets. We call these region-based explanations. And now we can see you know, that the model was basically, uh, for this one, status of existing checkings account had an impact of about 6.43%. The second important variable had a positive impact of 3.2%, 1.83% respectively. Now let's see, let's compare it with what if the credit amount was less than 5,000, right? Does the impact or the feature attribution value, whether it changes or whether it not, and we can clearly see that it actually changes. Now the impact has become much more smaller. So we can see that, you know, as the status of its existing checkings account increases, the credit amount automatically has a positive impact as well. And now with this SQL module, you can clearly slice and dice within your data set and find how models or model is performing for each specific region. And that is extremely, extremely important. And it also helps you identify biases within your data set, like for example, for male and for female, how it's performing. So understanding that will give you an understanding of how your model basically performs uh, in different various subsets. And so by using ExplainX, one can clearly diagnose their model can clearly debug their model and explain how the model is performing to basically anyone in very simple terms.